Okay, welcome ladies and gentlemen, it is April 28th, welcome to episode 30 of the NBA Show! Woo! Uh, we have a great show for you today, our guest is Jeff Blake, he's going to help you get through recruiting events. Remember to subscribe to us on iTunes. And what's our headline? Columbia unveils the secret MBA. That's right. For those of you who don't want your employer to know that you're getting an MBA, Columbia has unveiled a Saturday only executive MBA program. It's a secret ninja MBA. <laughs> so yeah, with classes on Saturday, you don't need to take off any work time. You don't need to tell your employer. You can get your entire MBA without letting your employer know. And for those of you who are married to your job, but still want to get a little piece of the MBA on the side, this is perfect. This, uh, there, there is a lot of advantages. <laughs> for those of you who've been seduced by the secret MBA that we've come up with. Yeah, I mean, this MBA is younger. Uh, this is true. Your job is nice, but it's probably been taking you for granted after all these years. <laughs> You're probably just not as excited about your job as you used to be when you were younger. And let's be honest, there's that thrill of danger in sneaking around on your employer <laughs> to get that MBA. So that's why we've prepared a list of tips for those of you flirting with the idea of the secret MBA. What's, up, what's point number one? Tip number one. Remember to tell your secret MBA never to call you on your work phone. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, develop a credible cover story. Mm. Yeah, you know, uh, my grandfather's in the hospital again every Saturday from 8 to 5. Wow, how interesting that keeps <laughs> happening. Number three, you're probably going to want to clue in your good friends about your secret MBA so they can cover for you with your boss. <laughs> and number four, at some point, your secret MBA is going to start pressuring you to leave your job. Mm. And you want to be very honest with your, with your job, and with your MBA, and tell them that you are going to leave your job at some point, but just not now. Mm. So true. <laughs> so true. Good advice. And moving on! <laughs> Our guest today is Jeff Blake. So Jeff is going to talk to us about recruiting events. Let's welcome Jeff. All right, fellas, how's it going? Good. So Jeff is a second year at MIT Sloan in the Biomedical Enterprise Program. And uh, Jeff, you're going to help us survive recruiting events. Um, and I see, you, I see you've, brought, uh, you've brought some props for us to help us, to help us through this. You if you want to consider them props, for you, I consider have, them tasty beverages. Uh, you have your, your scotch on the rocks. These are things that your CDO office or your, uh, your career development office is not going to teach you about recruiting. You can only find it out here on the MBA show. Well, cheer, cheers, gentlemen. Cheers. All right, so Jeff, uh, Ooh. what are you, Ooh, what are you drinking there, and what's the story behind this? So this is actually a scotch on the rocks. This is uh, not a recommended drink for uh, those that are inexperienced during recruiting events. I mean, I, so I'm a finance guy. I pretty much only drink scotch, but I'm always afraid that I'm going to look like an idiot when I order it. Okay, so uh, what part of it scares you? You can order it neat, which is no ice. You can order it uh, with a, a splash of water. You can get it with a, a little on the rocks. Well, how, how do I like know I even what to order? So I go up to the bar and like just say, give me a scotch or... How do I know what's a good scotch? I don't want to order a cheap scotch. So there uh, are single malt scotch and blended scotches. Single malt is kind of like, uh, you can think of a scotch that's so good that it stands well on its own. A blended scotch is something where they could put some really good scotches mixed together with some not so great scotches to come up with something that's still pretty good. So in the movies, they're always ordering single malts. So do I want to go up to the bar and order a single malt scotch? That depends on who's paying the tab and how much you like them, basically. <laughs> and which which one which one do is, is going to cost me more? So the sc single malt is malt is going to tend to be a more ex expensive drink. Like wh how how much are we talking here? Uh, it's really variable. I mean, it could be you know anywhere upwards of thirty to fifty dollars for a single drink. Whoa, Whoa! <laughs> for a drink. Yeah. So maybe you would do that at a finance interview, but not a consulting interview. Uh, <laughs> I would say final rounds onwards. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, and this so is why this is why I stick to wine only. Okay. And what, what is Miro drinking here? This so this is, uh, it, it, it was. It, it may look alcoholic. <laughs> We're actually missing here, an important line. piece oh, here. There we go. That's, okay. there, there that's we go. what I was confused okay. about. Okay. So I, I call this the recruiting special or the training wheels. This is actually a <laughs> soda water and lime. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is gin and tonic, my friends. <laughs> exactly, which is what most people are going to think during the event. Not only do they serve it to you in the regular glass, uh, people just kind of assume that that you're drinking like everyone else is. Meanwhile, you maintain your mental sharpness, <laughs> and if you, which is has been rumored to be important during recruiting. So events. this is like so you can order like you're at the recruiting event and you're ordering your friends gin and tonics like all night, trying to knock them out of the game, and you're drinking soda water. For that is a strategy that I, that a guy like you would use, Tom. <laughs> For me, if I can't get my hands on a good Vouvray and I find oh that the God. wine selection at these recruiting events is well nigh awful, I will head for the recruiting special. 
and it's uh, it's a very tasty, crisp, delicious beverage on top of it all. That all right, is. the recruiting special. And what am I drinking Excellent here? Nose. This looks like a Miller Lite. Uh, <laughs> There's something special it, about it this? It is or? a Miller Lite, but uh, <laughs> I think you're demonstrating the, the napkin approach. Oh, so I should... Should I hold it with the napkin like this? That is correct. During a recruiting event, you're going to be shaking people's hands, so you do want to use your left hand to hold your drink. And you right. typically want to have a napkin so that you don't get cold and... and ah, uh, so I don't, the, cl the clammy hands. Ah, right. yes, the clammy hands. And there is a, there's a loner out here. This, this drink looks pretty, pretty lonely. What is, what is this? Oh. No. So this is uh, an almost empty drink. Just to demonstrate <laughs> the fact that you never want to enter a potentially awkward conversation at a recruiting event with a full beverage. Why not? I believe we have some footage to demonstrate uh, what could happen in that sort of situation. Oh, don't we? Well, let's yes. Take a look at that. What would that, what that be like? Well, tell me about yourself. Tell me why we should hire you. Well, I'm vice president of the consulting club. I'm vice president of oh, the God. finance club. I've I'm vice got president to get out of the vice here. president's association. Damn. I'm vice the president of the rock climbing club. Full. I'm vice president of my core team. My, my six group mm. members. I'm vice president mm. of the mm. leadership mm. center. Oh. Would you excuse me? I've actually got to go get another drink. Well, I guess you can only do that once per night then, Jeff. I think you can get away with just one of those. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's a very delicate procedure to be mm -hmm. done. Yeah. <laughs> and so we believe that you have a, uh, a jargon for us. Some, some related segment. jargon. So this comes to us from Jeff Blake. Jeff, what is the dead fish? So the dead fish is something that you want to avoid during any and all recruiting events from the very first minute you meet somebody to accepting your offer. This is a handshake without anything behind it. It is that. <laughs> it just, it kind Nicely of... done, Miro. It's like you're a natural at this, my friend. I, I... <laughs> After receiving a dead fish, you actually feel kind of violated in some sort of way, like the person didn't want to shake your hand. And if you haven't been using the napkin technique, you'll end up with the cold dead fish, which is that is worse. That is the worst. Now, a little tip for those of you who are uh, who are men in the eyes of the Jewish religion, you probably <laughs> learned this from the same person who trained you at your bar mitzvah, um, which is where I learned not to give the dead fish, uh, the person who was training me on my Torah portion. Um, nice. So if you're wondering why some people seem to know, they might have been bar mitzvah. All right, and what you, I believe you also have a business school tip of the week for us, Jeff. So, Jeff, we asked you for what was your one tip that you would give MBAs if you had one piece of advice going through your business school education, and you told us... I didn't exactly word it, pick beers over books, yeah, but... Yeah, it was pretty like clever. Beers and spirit and books, so it's like, it's like, go for the network <laughs> instead of the academics. What it is important to make connections in business school. Um, you can always look stuff up if you're on the job uh, and you, you don't remember the uh, balance sheet equation or something a little more complicated than that. <laughs> so, uh, meanwhile, you, you need that network throughout your career. But then I, I came to school for books. Like, I came to school for studying. And you chose business school for that? Okay, maybe it wasn't the wisest <laughs> choice on my part. <laughs> So, uh, so Tom, what's on your radar for this weekend? I'm gonna be taking the weekend off. I'm gonna do a little R and R. Oh, very, very nice. Yeah. Um, How about you? Actually, same, same plans this. No, no, wait, wait. I thought I was gonna do that, and I have a finance paper due. <laughs> I have a software paper due. I have to grade a bunch of memos. I have, I have a lot of stuff. Okay, that's exciting. Jeff, what Jeff, you, what's what on your radar this then? weekend? Uh, I'm gonna be networking with Tom. I think we're gonna have more <laughs> fun than you. Are. And we know, sir, what that means for you. All right. Thank you so much. Cheers. I'm Miro Kaz. I'm the real Tom Rose. And I'm Jeff Blake. And you've been watching The NBA Show. show.